Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with the Turkish Socialist Republic in the Road to 56 mod. All right, we're going to go ahead and fix these here. Um, I don't think there's any rubber for us. Well, look at that. They've got rubber for us. All right, we'll take that. Sure, get a little bit more rubber from them. All right, uh, so um, this this episode, uh, hopefully we'll be doing our invasions. Yeah, we should be doing our invasions of the British, but hopefully we can win them. Um, we need to get more planes over there, I think, to, to help us out. All right, that'll work. Okay, so um, got all our planes set up here. Uh, so we'll be ready for the invasions. Our ships are coming over as well. We have 29 ships right now, far more than the British do. Uh, I can't believe that 29 ships is one of the largest navies in the world. Uh, Japanese still have a larger navy, and of course the Americans have a massive navy. Um, I don't know how many ships the Soviets have. I'm very curious though, they have 35 ships. So we have more ships than they do too, because we have those 29, plus we have like another one in port, and then we have all those those five submarines. So I think we actually have a larger navy than the, uh, the Soviets as well. All right, so uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and have all these guys attack. Do they attack both of these problems? Let me just see here, can they attack that one? Okay, they have to attack across this way. Got it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and attack across there and see if we can win. Uh, and then we're also gonna attack across uh, this way with these troops here. Let's go ahead and see if we can get some victories all across this region here. Um, I don't know, we'll just have to see. Uh, you guys actually stay here. Uh, let's attack over here this way. Uh, no, you're not gonna win there. Never mind. Pull the, pull the back. We can at least get those troops cut off. Uh, not gonna be able to get as many cut off as I would have liked though. But it's okay. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get our planes moving as well. Uh, how large is this? This can ac accommodate a couple wings here, like two wings. So we're gonna get a fighter wing and a dive bomber wing. Oh yes, we have this one as well. So we can take the rest of them and put them over here. All right, excellent. So I should be able to get all of our planes moved. Uh, and then we can go ahead and destroy these guys, get them wiped out. All right, lovely. Uh, and then you guys are gonna come up over this way. Looking pretty good across here. Uh, everybody wants to join our wars. Uh, they cannot join our wars. War against Oman. We don't need them in that conflict. Uh, it's gonna be over soon anyways. Um, looks like we sunk a submarine there. Excellent news. Um, lost more convoys there. That's really unfortunate. Uh, what happened over here? Uh, just more convoys being bombed. And we sunk one of their heavy cruisers. All right, awesome. We need to get as much of their Navy destroyed as possible. Uh, and here's our fleet, guys. Our fleet is over here. I was about to say before our fleet gets here, but they are already here. I uh, got another submarine there as well. All right, so the fleet is fighting uh, and hopefully getting that British fleet destroyed to protect our ships. Uh, currently, we need to wait not much longer. Let me see here. It's 42 days. I believe these guys are probably done. No, they're not. Wow, they're really, really bad. Okay. <laughs> these guys are actually, you know what? We should just get these, these ones changed up to the desert runners and they can just sit there and train it's fine we'll have 11 divisions here uh that's okay uh so we currently need 14 more days before we are ready to go that's that's fantastic news how are we doing over here why is this taking so fucking long uh because it's the ai in control that's why um a lot of them are just moving in senseless places like just stop what you're doing <laughs> like don't do this don't do it dog all right we're gonna take anybody who's currently moving Send them that way. Uh, everybody's going over this way. Everybody, go over there. Attack. Everybody's got to go over here. And it's just figures. If we would have took the capital, we would have finished the conflict. And so what do they do? They take the capital last. It's the last fucking province they take. Oh, that's super special. And we got troops all the way up here. For what reason? I couldn't tell you. Troops way over here. Can't tell you why they're there either. Okay, so they have uh, lost... That means we're gonna have a little quick uh, peace treaty here. Let's just go ahead and take all states. End our turn. And fantastic news. So we now have this under our control. That's two oil and a lot of factories. Uh, so that's awesome. Uh, we also don't need to occupy it. Uh, so let's go and get these uh, factories assigned. We're gonna put them into, how are we doing on infantry equipment? Pretty good, still need a lot of artillery, unfortunately. Uh, but we, we have two lines built out, so they're, it'll get themselves fixed soon. Let's put it in artillery, or into tanks, excuse me. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, and then we're also going to take a look at the resource situation. Um, just need steel. I can trade for those other ones at the moment. It is okay. Uh, so, got these guys finished training. Let's go ahead and get them assigned. Uh, we are losing territory here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to build out... I don't really feel like we need all these troops here any longer. So, what we're going to do, yeah... I'm going to do it this way. Uh, these guys can actually train up, though. Uh, they can go into that army and train. Uh, and then we're going to take these other three, put them into this army, and then this army here is going to get an objective to um, 
I guess just cover this for right now. Oh, I wanted him to cover the whole thing, my bad. Uh, come on over here. Uh, and then this guy, oh, what did I fuck up? I fucked something up. I think I grabbed the wrong division here. Oh, okay. I see. Nope. We need to assign him there. All right, so they're going to be coming over here by railroad and hopefully hold this just so we don't lose any further territory to the British. Uh, the Blue Army is done with their objective. They don't have anything to do. We could go help in India, I suppose. Uh, we're not at war with the Estonia, so we can't, can't do that. Um, I guess we could just come over here and help in India. Sure, why not? What else are we going to fucking do, right? Uh, so let's just, we'll set an objective over here and give them an order to just attack. Let's try and get this wrapped up for the Soviets. Reduce the number of fronts they're fighting on because, yeah, they, they are incompetent. <laughs> they can't do it themselves. Uh, saving there as we enter into April 1st, April Fool's Day. Did we win here? We did not. Let's try and attack again, see if we can get a victory this time. Uh, and we're looking to take Hiroshima. Uh, Paraguay just declared war on... Okay, so there's a civil war going on in Paraguay right now. Let's go take a look at that situation. Might as well. Uh, we have a um, Soviet and a fascist Paraguay. Uh, neither isn't a faction yet. Okay. We'll follow along closely because it's so, so exhilarating. <laughs> we got our uh, anti-tank... Um, infantry guns, so let's get uh, land doctrines. So we have the choice between the air land battle or the shock and awe. We're gonna go down, ahead and go down the, the shock and awe branch. We're gonna get that soft attack. Um, both of them are pretty good bon uh, branches, I think, in my opinion. They just have kind of different bo different bonuses. Uh, let's go ahead and assign these factories. Um, such a pain assigning factories uh, when you get at this point in the conflict. You're just like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to assign factories anymore. It's gonna fucking throw them, throw them all into the factories, all into places, and just you deal with it. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and get the resources that we need. This is this is all the stuff I hate dealing at the end of the campaign because I'm always like, I, I don't care. You know what I mean? I don't really care about this kind of stuff anymore. We got a submarine. And we also got a something. Um, we got. What did we get? Let me just take a look here. Oh, okay, we got the uh, Naval Doctrine. Okay, let's get, that's not, I guess the capital ship armor is, is a little bit beneficial. I suppose we can get that. Um, I don't know, it doesn't seem like the uh, best thing for us to get at the moment. Are any of these gonna be really all that beneficial? We don't really use submarines. You know what? I'm not gonna waste anything on, on this right now. Uh, let's see, I kind of feel like, we're not gonna be able to get that soon enough. That's not gonna make a um, have any kind of role in this. We're just not in close enough to 1948 yet. All right, so I don't think we're gonna get anything over there uh, at the moment. Um, yeah, these are all 1948 texts. I suppose we can work on something here and get our MPs so their military suppression's a little bit better uh, because yeah, we are occupying a ton of territory. And as you can see, we are having some resistance problems. So I think most of those are in Japan where we're not occupying at all because we're just trying to get this conflict done with um, as soon as possible. Let's go and attack with these guys. The tank unit is gonna go over there, rush over there. Uh, we're gonna send these guys this way and we're gonna send uh, the best looking unit over here to attack them. And everybody else, these guys are just going to be going uh, out here. Actually, you guys can go ahead and go across the island as well. And then this guy here, he's going to go uh, this way. And then we'll take this guy and throw him over there. He can go over here. Excellent. Uh, so it looks like we're wrapping this up here. Um, I kind of don't want to attack them there. Because um, I want to get behind these troops. I think that would be the best move. First, let them get behind and then attack right there. Uh, so there we go. Excellent. So let's go ahead and have all these troops attack over here and then we'll put them on this front All right glorious guys And ace pilot promoted Okay, uh, we could of course move some planes over here if we wanted to don't really need to though overran all those troops Excellent. Let's just go ahead and assign all these guys all these guys everybody come here over to this front here uh, We don't really need I suppose we can sign these ones over there um, And these guys are all currently got yeah, they already have missions. But let's go ahead and have them come over here anyways. All right, looking good. Uh, let's go ahead and send all these tank units. We just overran almost the entire Japanese uh, army, so yeah, not really a problem any longer. <laughs> all you guys are going to be coming over here and attacking. Everybody needs to attack. All you guys, just attack. Attack, men. All right, so Japan should capitulate very, very soon. I think I think once we take all the home islands here, it should be able to win. Um, though there is, of course, yeah, the, the chance that we might not. 
uh, be able to win. We might have to take an island. I really hope that's not the case. Uh, I believe they should be just about ready. Let me just take a look here. Oh, Lord, 85%. Nagasaki is worth a lot, um, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. I don't know, guys. Let's get these guys destroyed. And we did take this, and we're going to have them come on over here as well. All right, um, just in case they don't get it done. And then let's just go ahead and attack. Um, we're going to send one of these guys this way, actually. Um, yeah, let's take this guy and send him. Let's take all these guys. Attack, man. All right, so hopefully when we take Nagasaki, it should be over. Um, don't know for sure, though. I suppose we'll see. There's a lot of convoys going through here. Um, I'm really hoping when Nagasaki falls on their hands, they'll lose. Oh, come on, that doesn't look good. Oh, yes, 100%. All right, so they're going to capitulate any moment over here. We're going to take a look at this situation over here first, though. And then we're going to do the peace treaty. Um, I want to see any ships that we happen to destroy. Let me take a look at the ships. All right, that's not the ships. There we go. Got their heavy cruiser sunk. Excellent. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and assign these dockyards as well. Actually, let's not assign anything because there's going to be a peace treaty soon. So any minute... There we go. Japan has capitulated. Got a bunch of their stockpile, a lot of equipment over here. And now we are able to do the peace treaty with the Axis. This was a very, very long conflict, guys. We've been fighting the Axis for quite a while. Okay, let's go ahead and take some territory, guys. Um, so it seems that I can't get any of the land I want. Um, that's awesome. <laughs> so the, uh, the Soviets, of course, instead of taking... God, like... This sucks. We're not able to get anything. They took all of North Africa, as you can see. Look at all the shit they did here. It's fucking bullshit, man. I hate it. I mean, but whatever. I wasn't going to do the peace treaty. Look at Bulgaria. Can't get Bulgaria. We can get Greece, I guess. It's fucking frustrating. Whatever. I don't care because, I mean, it's over. Like, the conflict is over, guys. So I just don't care enough um, to have had the uh, that peace treaty. Uh, or the, uh, the peace treaty mod in. Yeah, I don't care enough. Don't care. Um, so we'll take all that. Uh, we're gonna take all this as well, if we can. We'll see what they'll let us take. Seems that we can take quite a bit. Okay, I'm all right with that. Although, nope, we're not gonna take all of it. All right, so we need to kind of prioritize what we want. Um, hmm. All right, can't get that. How about... That does get us a lot, a lot of steel, um, that one there. But yeah, we can't get it. How about this one? What does that give up? I'm okay with giving that up if I can get this one. Yes, we'll take that. Um, can we get any other ones? No, we can't. All right, um, let's go into enter turn, see what happens next. Um, looks like we're gonna have to take some of Germany. I mean, that's super stupid, but we could also take all of Japan. We could also puppet Japan. That's an option too. Um, yeah, let's let's puppet Japan. Why not? Yeah, we'll puppet Japan, um, and then we're gonna take some of this land for ourselves here. Um, yeah, we're gonna take this. Yep, looks like we'll be able to get all that. And I know it's it's border gore. What are you going to do, though? Um, that's just the way... And we didn't get... Damn, we didn't even get Syria. <sighs> so fucking fresh. Oh, but this is allies. I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't know what I'm thinking. Uh, Syria and, and United Kingdom, that's allies. It looks like we just lost um, Libya. All right. Well, at least we can still get that. Uh, I was kind of worried about that. But yeah, we didn't get Bulgaria, which is unfortunate. Um, yeah, I would like to get Yugoslavia in our hands, too. All that would have been nice. Um, but yeah, it wasn't, wasn't an option, unfortunately. This one's satellite Korea as well, if we can. Yeah, we can. Uh, we'll leave that as is. I think this is probably all we're going to do right now. I'm going to let the, the Russians have Germany. They can have all that. I'm fine with that. I'm going to end that turn there. Uh, and then see what we can do over here. Um, yeah, it looks like we should be able to give um, all of... I don't know if we're going to give all Japan to Japan, um, but we'll see. Uh, this is our puppet of Japan, so let's go ahead and give them uh, some of their lands back, um, especially around their uh, capital there. We'll see what we can get. It seems that we can't get everything for them. That's unfortunate. Um, can we do some... No, those are 82 points. They can't give that to them. We can give them the 18.1. How about this one here? Yes, we can give them that one there. How about this one? No, they can't have that one. Okay, uh, let's go and enter turn, and we'll continue taking stuff for Japan. Um, trying to get more land for them. Uh, we'll get these lands here. And whatever we can get them. That'll work. All right, so we'll get them that. We can also get them some of their islands as well. So let's do that in our turn. I didn't realize that they're... I completely forgot about all those islands over there. Uh, we gave them that over there. So let's go ahead and continue giving... Oops, that's my bad. I want to give... God damn it. Let's fix this. I don't want to take those. <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, take this land for the Japanese. All right, so that's Taiwan here. 
Um, looks like uh, the Soviets might have puppeted them. And we can't take all that. All right, well, that's unfortunate. Oh, that's only nine points, and we can't take that. How about this 2.1? Nope, that's all the points we have. Okay, let's go and continue on uh, taking islands for the Japanese. Come here. And we might have to pass, because it doesn't seem like we have a lot of points to work with, unfortunately. Uh, might have enough, though, to take all their islands for them. We'll have to see. All right, um, I know there's got to be more left. Where or where are they? Did I grab that one yet? Yeah, we grabbed that one. Any more Japanese islands over here? Let's go ahead and do something for ourselves, I guess. Uh, is there any other lands to take? Well, not really. Uh, we border these, so might as well take them for ourselves. We'll split up uh, these lands. Oh, well, can't get that one. We can take that one, though. How about this one? No. I want ones that border us. We'll take that one. It's ugly as hell, but whatever. Border gore. <laughs> uh, let me make sure. It looks like, yeah, all the lands are in Germany. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and take lands for ourselves. Just increase our little colony over here. Uh, I would love to get access to the port, but yeah, that's not going to be an option. All right. Um, we'll get that rubber that's there. Uh, and I think that's going to be all that we can do. Okay. Let's see if we can take um, some more uh, territory here. Man, we do not have a lot of points. That's unfortunate. Um, we'll grab that up. And can we get any more? No, we can't. Yeah, this sucks. Yeah, we don't have any damn points. All right, we'll take that. Uh, we'll take this here, if we can. Uh, nah, we can only take like one state at a time. All right, well, that's unfortunate. Let's see here. Yeah, we can't even grab any of these. All right, let's just pass then. And maybe now we'll be able to get some, some territory. Here we go. Excellent. All right, we should be getting a lot more. Yep, and get a lot more territory. Okay, can't get that. That's 84 points. Can we get anything else? There's not really anything that's less. Yeah, we're gonna have a huge ass fucking colony here. This is just weird. This is not even what I wanted. I wanted this land here, and we can't even connect it. That's the weirdest part. But whatever. This is just this is the way peace treaties work in this fucking game. So you know, you gotta roll with it. We're gonna pass again. What are the Russians doing? Seems like they're just not doing. Ah, uh, I guess they are taking some territory. Yeah, I guess the, I forgot that they did have, huh. I could have gave this all to Austria as well and had them be a puppet. I suppose we still can. Yeah, we could release them. Yeah, we're just gonna continue increasing our lands over here in Germany uh, because reasons. Um, yeah, we'll take, God, we don't have like any fucking points, man. All right, we'll take that one. And can we get these two? Yes, we can. All right, nice, we can get some, yeah, we can get some territory over here. Uh, let's go with, this is so fucked up. <laughs> this is so ugly, guys. I don't know why I'm taking all this land. I, I should have just puppeted them. But whatever, it's fine. Um, we can always do it later if we want. Uh, it wasn't the original plan. I didn't think I was gonna be able to get all this. I thought the Soviets would take it. Huh. Well, we could just, okay, who's here? East Germany? We'll just give this to East Germany. I guess I can take these two. Yeah, we'll take these two here. And then we'll give the rest to East Germany, just because, yeah, this is the only way to do it. Uh, we'll give the, the other lands to East Germany. Where are they? Just super fucked up borders. Um, it looks it looks beautiful. <laughs> uh, where are we at? Norway, East Germany. All right, you guys can have all this territory here. Uh, nope, looks like it was a little bit too much points. All right, something we took was way too expensive. Oh, okay, those are not considered East German. Okay, um, whatever. Yeah, they can't. I don't think they can get any of these. All right, we'll just pass. We'll pass until we have the points to, to take it. 916, and that's it. That's all we'll be able to get for this one. Pass a couple times. And then let's see if we can get them something else here. Oh, all right, grab them that. Pass a couple times again. And then hopefully we can get them the rest of this. There we go. All right, so I believe that is it. Look at these ugly ass fucking borders. <laughs> Some people are gonna be like blinded by the map gore. Oh, it is terrible. That is not how I wanted the peace treaty to go. Not at all, guys. Oh, well, uh -huh. how did we get this in our hands? Oh, these are part of the allies. All right, that's weird. All right, so we can still take that. Okay, then we could connect these lands here to Greece. It's just, Bulgaria 
that is currently not in our hands. I almost want to just fucking force an annexation of them because, yeah, they fucked us over on Libya, which is super frustrating. Uh, but yeah, this is this is where we're at here. Um, it seems that we do not need anywhere near the amount of steel that we're trading for now. Uh, we don't need all the rubber that we're trading for either. Um, so let's go ahead and reduce these numbers here. And let's see how it's looking now. Um, still probably too much rubber. Um, so let's go ahead and fix this. And now we're short two, but that's okay. I'm all right with being short two. Um, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff in our hands now. Um, yep, and we should have a lot of military factories as well. Yes, we do. Look at all those fucking military factories. That is a lot of military factories, guys. Uh, let's just take a look at the situation. Look at all that infantry equipment. We've got a lot of it. Um, what we need to do is we're gonna go ahead and get a line of infantry equipment that just upgrades to the uh, latest, because you know we're gonna need it. All that stuff is really old. I'm sure all that infantry equipment we have is like super old. Uh, so let's go ahead and convert. And we're just gonna assign them full factories for converting. Uh, they should be able to convert quite a bit every day. Uh, just taking a look at other things we could do with our fucking factories. Um, I guess we'll just do planes, guys. Uh, yeah, that'll work, I suppose. We'll do a whole crap ton of planes. All right, so this is what I did, guys. <laughs> I just, these all need to be repaired. A lot of repairs that need to be done on a... Uh, on all the new territory that we got here. Uh, somebody else just joined the Axis. I don't understand that. I thought the Axis war was over. Uh, sunk another submarine there, and I believe we are ready uh, to send our troops here now, aren't we? Yes, we are. All right, let's go ahead and send them, guys. Uh, I think these guys are still training up. They're not going to be going. But everybody else can go ahead and go. Let's let's execute. Uh, we want to execute with our Orange Army, too. Uh, and then we want to change up all of our planes. And, yeah, we're going to try and get this invasion of the... Uh, let's finish up the port strike, or change the port strike over as well. Um... Let's change these guys. They can continue doing naval strike, the torpedo bombers. Um, and I think the English Channel. We'll keep those guys in the English Channel, actually. Uh, let's see what we got going over here. Uh, these guys are going to move on over to there. Uh, same with these ones here. We don't need as many in the air, in the uh, English Channel any longer. Uh, and then we have currently dive bombers, right? Yeah, these are dive bombers. Uh, they can continue where they're at. We're going to go ahead and move one of the, these wings down here because I'm worried about their... Oh, well, that one's actually the one that's overstaffed. Never mind. Actually, let's go ahead and move these dive bombers to uh, cover doing, uh, oops, my bad, to doing uh, close air support over here. All right, looking good. Uh, any other dive bombers currently not doing close air support? No. All right, so we're looking pretty good over here, guys. I like this. Uh, this should go well, this invasion, I think. Norway just joined the allies. Okay. Um, did that faction disband or something that they're a part of? Uh, and the Thai People's Republic has capitulated. Central American Socialist Republic has capitulated. Uh, but yeah, the whole world is, is just, uh, has changed. Uh, Japan is now our puppet state. It's so weird. That is not the way I wanted it to go, guys. But, you know, when I, I disabled that mod, and I did it for a reason, because I just didn't want to do it. I didn't want, I didn't like the idea that I couldn't set up puppets for the Soviets, because it makes sense that they, they puppet people instead. Like, Italy should be a puppet of um the soviet union not not a uh not yet annexed and with that mod you can't set up puppets so i decided not to do it guys and it's fine it's it's not optimum um but it is what it is uh we'll also go ahead and help out over here i guess uh with these troops might as well actually you know what let's um let's have all of them go uh here and then we're just gonna train them up get them training uh because they are badly damaged uh, and just focus on this conflict over here. We do have the uh, one of the armies over here, Blue Army, currently moving to help out over here. Uh, East Germany just joined the common turn. Got it. Um, but yeah, looking uh, looking pretty good all throughout here. I think East Germany actually is not a puppet state, right? No, they're not. Uh, we could, of course, um, give them territory or whatever. Uh, give up some of this territory uh, if we wanted to. Let me just see what we can do here. I'm going to take a look, see if there's anything better to do. Uh, not that. Manage occupied territory. So we could release Germany, could release Austria over here, but that would only give them a little bit of a territory. Um, I almost want to release Germany. I kind of want to. I don't really like... We have two Germanys. <laughs> yeah, because I don't really like the way this this looks here. It's kind of ugly. I don't know, guys. Um, it feels like releasing Germany would be the most... Uh, would make the most sense. God, there's so many countries that we can release. Uh, we can also release territory to Germany. Uh, we could give this territory to East Germany. Let's return some of this territory, guys. We're going to return this. Um, and then we'll also return that territory to East Germany. Um, just because, just to make it look better. Um, oh, can't do it anymore. Okay, 
We have territory that we could uh, release to East Germany. Maybe, maybe that's what we gave to the Polish instead. Looks like it is. I'm fine with that, giving it to the Polish instead. They actually fought in the war. They weren't an enemy. So yeah, we could release uh, some of the countries here if we wanted to. Um, like we could release uh, Germany. That'd be an option. Just give all that territory to Germany. Um, Cause yeah, I don't really like being in Germany. If I'm being honest, looks kind of weird. Let's let's do it, guys. Let's release Germany. Uh, they're gonna release be released as a puppet state. And I know this is gonna we're gonna be giving up a lot of factories and stuff, but it's okay. Um, oh damn, this is all fucked up now. All right. Um, hmm. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, maybe we need want to release uh, Czechoslovakia, perhaps. There we go. We'll re release the Czech People Republic. Just trying to make the borders look better. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Um, yeah, this looks good. I'm okay with this. Uh, we could also release somebody here, but let's not do any of that. Um, let's keep this for ourselves to see how it ends up looking. Yeah, I like this a lot better. So we have two puppet states here. Uh, we have uh, the Czech People's Republic and uh, Germany. So, yeah, I like that. Uh, that is going to mess up our factories, of course, because now we don't have as many factories. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Gave up a ton of factories doing that. Uh, also lost a lot of steel doing that as well. Oh wow, look at how much steel we lost. All right guys, so I got it all fixed. Um, now I just need to fix the, the resource situation. Um, but yeah, the uh, that was a mess. That was a fucking mess, guys. It was bad. Um, and we're once again gonna be short on rubber, but you know what? We can actually get a ton of rubber from our puppet state of Japan, though that would end up causing issues, wouldn't it? Yeah, they'd be trying to free themselves if we did that. All right, well, let's go ahead and trade for that there. Uh, we're also gonna need a ton of steel. Oh, good God, we need a lot of steel. All right, we're gonna have to give them a lot of our factories, which is unfortunate. Uh, it is what it is, though. Um, but yeah, it wasn't. Uh, we're gonna have to manually do this. Uh, but yeah, the, the rubber situation, we might have to trade with Japan. Okay, whatever, we'll trade with Japan. Um, I'm okay with that, I guess. Oh, we'll get 80 from them, so we only need to trade one. Uh, that'll actually give us an excess of rubber. All right, so yeah, that's looking good. Um, yeah, it was just a fucking ugly situation. Disaster, guys. Uh, so we are currently invading uh, over here. I don't know if we failed with any of these. What are you guys doing? Looks like they're going back home. They might have failed or something. Looks like the Red Army might have failed as well, unfortunately. Uh, these guys look like they're the only ones to have succeeded. Okay, uh, who dares win? All right, so we now have um, a port. Awesome. Let's go ahead and get these guys. Oops, what up? What's going on here? They're not there. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and give them an order um, to attack. Oh, let's go this way. And we're gonna just go ahead and tell them to execute that order as well. Go ahead and attack all across there, and we'll continue to launch and continue these invasions, even though we failed. I'm, I'm okay with with that. It's fine. They're gonna have to pull back troops to come over to this front. Um, we're not going to reassign them, that's for goddamn sure. Uh, but yeah, we'll just wait until they get their organization back up. And they failed. It, it happens. It happens. That's why we launched three of them. Uh, so that somebody could succeed. Um, it looks like... Lag. <laughs> Serious fucking lag, guys. Damn. Yeah, that was bad. Okay. Um, I don't think the British have much of a navy left. Um, so I don't have to worry about that at the very least. Uh, what are you guys doing? Can you guys go ahead and assign here? Oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. No. <laughs> All right, I don't want, I shouldn't have assigned them. I should have waited. They didn't have their organization up yet. My bad. All right, well, whatever, they're going. Uh, West Germany joined the allies. Say a what? <sighs> I gave this territory to Germany, my puppet, for them to just release West Germany, which then joined the allies. The fucking insanity, guys. Oh, it's so stupid. Whatever, that's this game, guys. That's the way it is. It's the way it is. Uh, I got tank experiments, awesome. Um, what we're gonna go ahead and do uh, with our national focus is, I guess we can do, oh, it doesn't, doesn't really matter, guys. Let's go ahead and do the atomic energy, why not? I'll grab it. Doesn't matter though, really, we're just working on attacking here, expanding our borders. Uh, obviously, um, yeah, we're gonna have some issues across here. Uh, is the Orange Army ready to, to go yet? Um, I think Dover's just really, really uh, strong. We'll try and attack it one more time, see if we can get a, a victory there. Uh, also, do we have an air base over here just yet? We do. Awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and assign some more planes here. I know we have planes that we can move, but let's just get new ones coming over here. Um, and man, look at all this fucking equipment we got. Good God. Um, let's get some jet fighters over here. Uh, we're going to get them doing some air superiority. Uh, they're going to be coming. Oh, yes, we don't even have any air support over here. Um, okay, so yeah, we're gonna want them to supply us with some air support there. Uh, we're also gonna get some another wing of fighters over here because clearly 
Uh, we do not have enough planes here. And let's do some dive bombers too, since I, I'm looking at them. Uh, let's go and get these guys assigned. And they're gonna do some close air support for us. All right, and I think that'll probably be good for this. Oh, we still got room. Might as well go ahead and assign them. Uh, we will get, do we have any enough of the fighter bombers? We've got enough, it's fine. All right, we're gonna go ahead and sign these guys. Uh, they're gonna deploy over to here as well and do some close air support for us. All right, excellent. Um, we do have room here too that we can uh, put some planes. So let's go ahead and bring some of these guys over. Uh, we're gonna bring, oh, do we have enough jet fighters? I don't even know. Uh, there's interwar bombers. Let me just kind of scroll through here and see what we have available. We only have 81 jet fighters, so we'll go ahead and just leave that as is. A lot of medium bombers. These are all planes that we got from uh, uh, all those countries we defeated. Uh, we defeated a lot of countries. Let's go and get another wing of dive bombers in. Uh, have them do some close air support for us. Although it seems I might have messed something up here. Um, dive bombers. Oh, the fighter bombers. My bad. Had them do close air support. We want them to do air support. Oh, no, no, no. That's right. Yeah, these guys are supposed to be doing close air support. Okay, we just don't have enough fighters over here. So let's get another wing of fighters. Where are they at? Let's just do these fighter ones because I, I see them. They can upgrade themselves. And air superiority. Here we go. All right, so that should be enough. Get us a nice bonus as they get here. Uh, we do have factories again um, that we got from Britain, I guess. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these assigned. Uh, uh, we're going to do, oh, fighter bombers, I suppose. And we'll do the, the jet bombers as well. And we have a dockyard. So let's get that assigned uh, as well. Uh, we're gonna put these, we're gonna put two into those. Awesome. Um, so yeah, the invasion, uh, one of the invasions was successful. Man, we got a lot of fucking lag that we're dealing with here. West Germany has joined Free France as our psh, fucking morons. <sighs> That's super special. Well, hopefully the Soviets go conquer them because I don't feel like fucking messing with it, man. Um, I do not want to mess with it. These guys are ready. Let's go and launch them again see if we can win this time. Uh, what is that? The, <laughs> what is that to keep launching it? What we could do if they lose here against Dover again. Remember, Dover does have fortifications and stuff. Um, yeah, they got five fortifications, so it's really hard to attack Dover. Uh, I was just hoping that we'd catch it where there was no troops there. Um, but yeah, what we'll end up doing, uh, and we are kind of overstretched over here now as well. Um, damn it, we're going to lose that airbase. Are we going to get there before them? Let's see, one day in 22 hours. Uh, 22 hours. All right, so we should get there before them. Let's go ahead and launch an attack over here as well because it looks like we should be able to win there. All right, take that. Push them back just a little bit. Uh, obviously, we do not have tr enough troops over here. What we might just end up doing is sending the Red Army. In fact, let's... Yeah, th these guys are going to succeed here. Uh, we'll try and launch the attack one more time. Let me just see if these guys have... They do have fortifications. We'll try and launch the attack one more time, and then we'll, if we fail again, we'll just send the, the Red Army into this port. It'll be fine. Um... And that might that would probably be the quickest and best way to do it. But I would prefer to be able to attack them in these multiple places and just get the British just complete, completely confused and have no idea what to do. Um, and let's go and have the Orange Army start advancing towards London here. Go ahead and attack. All right, so uh, uh, looking good all across this area here. Uh, let's take a look at how we're doing on training these guys up. These guys are currently done, so let's pull them out. Uh, and then are they done yet? No, they still got a lot of training left to do. Uh, how's the situation over here looking? It's looking good. How about the situation over here? It looks like we uh, can now advance uh, some this front here. So let's go ahead and do so. It's gonna take this area here, and we'll have these guys come over the, this way as well. All right, excellent. So they did pull back, um, sunk something here let's take a look it just looks like convoys okay um yeah a lot of british convoys being sunk we're also losing convoys as well all the way across here uh can we launch our red army yet i believe we should be able to they shouldn't have anybody i bet they pulled their troops back let's attempt to launch these guys see if we can win oh hold up come on all right let's try and launch that attack again try and get another victory over there uh we do need to fix this here it's clearly fucked up um get our troops going over here and let's see if uh, there's anything else we can do here. Uh, manually controlling them. Not really. Yeah, there's not really a lot we can do over here. Okay, we'll just have to wait. Uh, Orange Army is advancing as well. Having trouble trying to take London, though. Uh, we're probably going to fail this attack if we didn't already. Um, yeah, we're probably going to fail here uh, again. And when we do, we'll just send them into... Yeah, it's, it's going to fail again. Okay, not surprising, guys. Really not surprising. Um, oh, maybe not. I don't know. Let's just wait and see what happens. I keep jumping to conclusions over there. Well, we really just don't know what's going to happen over there. Um, I am worried about this front, though, so it would probably be a good idea to to get these... these uh, yeah, uh, looks like they failed. Damn it. All right. Uh, instead, 
Come on over to this front, guys. All right, so we could also just send them into the port. Go ahead and go over there. Uh, we'll just uh, delete this front as well, because clearly it's not going to succeed. It looks like we might have lost one of our divisions. Huh. Yeah, because I could have swore we had 24. Uh, I don't know how we lost them, but it looks like we did. All right, well, whatever. That's fine. I'm not really super concerned about it. The British will be defeated soon, guys. Looking at them now, they are currently 30% towards capitulation. In this conflict, we have only 33% of the war participation. Why the fuck is that? Some bullshit, guys. We had like 60%. I defeated uh, this fucking game, man. Really frustrating. Because, uh, yeah, I defeated... What's going on over here? I don't know. Maybe Portugal messed some shit up? I don't know. Uh, I defeated Spain, France, and now Britain. Um, all the major allied powers. And I only get 33% of the war participation. That's awesome. Super special. <laughs> That's just the way the game works. Uh, really nothing to be done about it, of course. Um, yeah, looking good all across here, guys. We're going to go ahead and attack over here this way as well. Let's go and attack. Uh, let's send these guys over here. Attack that province. Um, just advance the front over here with this orange army. This smaller army, but... And then we'll, we'll link up here with the red army as we get more divisions over here. Uh, we really will be able to advance the front quite a bit more. Let's go ahead and make a few adjustments, actually. Um, let's just delete this front, in fact, and we'll give them a new front um, to advance all along here just take all this territory please come over here and take london all right excellent and we'll just tell them to execute it all right looking gorgeous uh we do have some more factories that we took from the brits let's go and get them assigned uh we're gonna put these into oh lord um let I me mean, how many do we have we have a lot that we need to convert so let's go and just convert all this we'll just put a lot towards converting here uh and then we have a couple more factories we can get assigned so let's go ahead and uh put these somewhere and then we've got some uh dockyards as well uh so let's get these assigned uh we're gonna put these into uh, we're gonna do battle cruisers and then the next ones will go to the destroyers uh but yeah looking pretty good guys uh the, the war against the allies will probably be finished momentarily as well uh very very good pleased to see that Gonna support with those guys uh we'll try and get a win over here as well see if we can get a uh victory um and let's attack over this way bring uh, or bring another division over this way and yeah looking pretty good guys um hopefully the red army can get this this uh pushed down south here a little bit more um as we get more troops it looks like we actually lost a province there that's unfortunate um hmm a lot of divisions over this way what we need to do Let's go ahead and create a, another front here. Uh, assign both of these troops over there. And then bring one of these guys over there as well. Uh, just try and make it so that we have some troops over here. And we can actually assign one more over here too. And let's go ahead and take take some provinces. Or, excuse me, let's go this way. Uh, might be able to win there. I don't know. Just see. No, that's not going to be the victory, unfortunately. All right. Um, and then this guy here. I think we could probably attack Bristol over here. Uh, but let's let these troops leave. They're leaving, uh, so it'll make it a lot easier not having to fight them. Uh, get ourselves a nice victory point. The, the British are so fucking confused. They have no idea what's going on right now. Uh, they do not know how to deal with the situation um, at the moment. So let's go ahead and bring some of these guys over here. Um, these guys here. Uh, put them into... Oh, they can go to that airbase. And then bring the rest of these guys into this air base just get them a little bit closer and looking good guys um i think we should have air superiority in in both of these regions excuse me uh both of these regions here uh currently have 400 fighters 600 uh close air support there four 600 fighters here and 800 close air support there we could bring more planes over there if we wanted to um because yeah there's just i don't know what the british are doing with their own planes I don't really care either. Uh, they have pulled a lot of the troops out over here. We might be able to win, but let's take this province here first. Um, and it looks like somebody decided... I don't know what they're doing in Bristol. Actually, I don't know what they're doing across this area. There is nobody in London, so let's take it. Let's grab London up. All right, excellent. Um, Russians are now moving in here as well. I just don't understand what happened to the war participation, guys, because we had, like, 50-something percent last time I checked. We had 60% for a while. Um, but yeah, I don't know what happened to the fucking war participation. <sighs> Whatever. It's fine. It is fine, guys. Um, nothing to be done about it. It is what it is. Uh, got some more military factories. Uh, a lot more from taking London, I suppose. Let's go and get these assigned to jet fighters. Uh, we'll do fighter bombers and 
could do another wing thing of torpedo bombers too. I suppose that's an option as well. Um, that's always an option. We can put these into this. Uh, and let's do more artillery too. We need to upgrade these. We'll just full wing a full uh, line of artillery. It seems that we are now short on resources again. We have more steel than we need. Uh, once again, let's go ahead and tr change that up. Also, we don't need as much. Um, we can change this up and we'll pull that back. And let's just keep pulling this back here. Huh, why is this not? Whatever, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. And then we can also uh, increase the number of factories we got going towards tungsten. All right, so everybody, all of our, our orange army are done with that over there. So let's go ahead and give them a, another objective to march up here and try and take Birmingham. Uh, just go ahead and uh, execute that now. See if we can get, um, we should be able to get Bristol now. Push them back. Uh, Red armies, it doesn't seem like it's moving much. Yeah, it looks like they're facing the majority of the British troops. Uh, we did uh, push the front forward there, though. Uh, what are you guys doing here? Why don't you attack over here? Attack, man. And then you guys attack over this way and see if maybe you get a victory there. Oh, maybe not. Let's uh, instead attack over that way. There we go. All right, pushing the front forward here. Uh, looking good. Orange Army now is split. Um, so what we're going to need to do, we're going to need to get you guys going over this way. Uh, and the rest of you guys are going to come up over here and get this finished up. All right, looking good. We're going to attack over that way as well. Um, let's try and advance the front a little bit. Push this forward here. We're probably going to attack across the... Yeah, we already are attacking across the river with that red army. That's okay. Um, and let's just go ahead and push forward with all these troops. Get this finished up. Uh, you guys are going to go, instead of going whichever way you're going, come back. Come back. Attack that way. Um, and let's just finish this up, guys want to get it done and all you orange army guys come on over this way all right excellent uh, should be able to get this finished up here and uh, get however many divisions are here destroyed it looks like eight divisions or nine divisions something like that yeah a lot of them uh, go and attack guys attack get that wrapped up and then they can uh, what we'll do we'll have the orange army attack here and the red army go north um, well it seems that we still have some issues here we have to deal with Attack! Just trying to get this finished up as soon as possible, guys. Um, yeah, looking good. All right, and then, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll assign the Orange Army over here. Uh, we'll have the Red Army just delete this line here. Um, we're going to have them concentrate on going up this way. Just finish off in Scotland. And I don't want to assign all of them, though. Let's do it like this. All right, and then when these guys finish up, they can go up there. Uh, yeah, I don't want—I want Liverpool to get finished, to uh, have that get taken. Oh yes, the Orange Army—we need to increase their front here, like so. And then we'll just delete their line and give them a new one to attack Wells. All right, let's go and get all these guys launching their attacks. Looking good, guys. So we should have the entire Red Army going over here. All right, excellent. Um, and I believe, yep, the whole Orange Army is over there as well. Uh, go ahead and attack this way. Go over here. And looking good. Um, should have the British defeated. Uh, let me just take a look at where we're at. That is... Where are they at? And I think they're the last... Let me make sure, though. Um, oh, shit. Norway's got to be defeated. All right, so they're 89% towards capitulation. Look how many more... How many men they lost. Uh, 3.28. God damn. The Soviets have lost a lot against the Allies. I don't know how that happened. So why do we have to defeat Norway? Still? Norway's uh, conquered, right? Oh, is this like all they have or something? That's weird. Huh. Are we gonna have to do a naval invasion of Iceland? Oh, cause that would be super stupid to win this war. <laughs> uh, I'd not be happy about that. I mean, we'll do it if we have to. I mean, what else are we gonna do? But yeah, it'd be really frustrating um, if we had to do that. Was that a, a huge British Navy that I just saw? No, it wasn't. Well, maybe it was our Navy, I don't know. Uh, it looked like a big old British Navy, uh, but I wasn't really paying attention either, so I could have just misseen things. So this is going to be a really, really long episode, guys, because we're going to finish this conflict. I'm finishing it in this episode, though. If we've got to invade uh, the Iceland, Iceland, oh, that's going to take forever. All right, well, uh, we'll do it, though. Uh, oh, and it looks like we did not finish up over here. All right, let's go and get these guys going over there to wrap that last division up. We don't want to uh, have them back here. Okay, that's our Navy. Uh, that's with the uh, the Soviets. 
Okay, I don't know why I was thinking that it was a British Navy, because uh, that would not be good. Uh, let's go ahead and get the uh, dockyards assigned first, because there's not as many of them. All right, so we have all those assigned. Um, let's go ahead and fix the steel situation here. Trading for more than we need. Uh, let's go ahead and also, because we got we got probably a lot from, from the British. Uh, and then I think another thing we can go ahead and do is spend our air experience here. Uh, we'll spend it on the fighters, I think. Let's create Mark IIs of the jet fighters. Let's go like so, and just increase these guys up to four, I believe. Oh, that really ticks down their liability quite a bit, doesn't it? <laughs> so let's instead go this way, like so. I think that'll work, guys. Yeah, that looks good. I'm gonna change that, uh, decommission these, and then change all these over to Mark twos. All right, excellent. Still got a little bit of experience as well, but we'll just save that. It's fine. All right, so the British are trying to, you know, take some territory here. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna get them destroyed momentarily. Uh, looks like we can finish wells up here uh, if we just manually control them uh, because they're not doing it themselves. And yeah, let's attack over this way. And come on, guys. We're gonna have them reduced down to one province here in wells. Uh, and then we are attacking up here as well. Um, we can take Edinburgh. Uh, I wonder how much longer until they capitulate. 94%. Let's take a look at these troops. Oh, they are all done. Okay. Um, let's just throw this one army into it. Yeah, they, they're the only ones who need to train. And then we'll take these guys and stop them from training and throw them into there. All right, excellent. So we could help out somewhere, um, like over here with that army. Maybe we will. I don't know. Maybe when they finish. I mean, it doesn't matter. The, the Brits are, are just about done. Although we... Oh, yes. And I completely forgot about this blue army. Okay, let's go ahead and tell them to attack. Attack, man, they probably got a nice planning bonus. Get this wrapped up for us. Uh, continue getting our percentages back up after we lost all that. God, I don't know what happened there. It seems like we just got screwed. Uh, we lost another red division too. I don't know what happened there. Uh, I guess they got surrounded or something, sunk in the sea. No idea, guys, but yeah, the game's just uh, fucking us. Um, so what we need to do is if we are gonna have to invade these guys, let's go ahead and get that planning now. Although I'd prefer to invade from like right here. Um, yeah, let's just wait until we get up there. We're gonna give them an order over here as well. Give them a, a front too and tell them to, to conquer as well. Go ahead and go up there. Get over there guys, let's get, just get it finished. Um, although it looks like I didn't put the entire army, orange army over there. So let's go ahead and fix that. There we go. All right, so yeah, just get the orange army over there to get this, this conquered quicker. Uh, get these Brits uh, finished up sooner. Go on over there, tanks. All right, so uh, can we win? I would love to be able to get this finished up over here uh, because then we'll get these troops surrounded and slash troops that we have to push back. Um, I'm surprised with uh, the British strength uh, over here for their troops. Their, their troops still have a lot of strength. Um, they're running low on manpower, 268 to 301,000 manpower is all they have left, uh, but it's still, still more than we have. We've really been sucking on manpower. Yeah, we've completely drained ourselves of manpower. Not surprising with as much fighting as we have been doing. Uh, as far as casualties in this war, Soviets have lost 1.17 million. Where are all the losses? Who lost? Oh, that's what happened, guys. Japan, their credit towards fighting, okay. So J Japan now has 14% because of all their casualties. Same with Italy. The Axis have joined our faction, so now they have percentages. Oh, that sucks. All right, so yeah, that's what happened. And that's also why our casualties are so fucking high, because the Japanese have lost 3.35 against the Allies, uh, while the Italians have lost 3.79. Peru lost 752,000. That's a lot. We've only lost 205,000. 3.54 million over here for the UK. Um, they've lost a lot of men. A lot of dudes. All right. Um... Can we attack anywhere? Here, why don't you guys come on over here? Take that province. Um, just try and get something taken over here. Still can't get Edinburgh yet, unfortunately. Um, just not having a lot of success with that. Let's let's attempt to attack up over this way instead. Oh, damn it. All right, let's go and get the uh, next thing here. Uh, we are gonna do, we're gonna do air, support. no, 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 we're gonna do ground support. And uh, let's see, it looks like they are supporting there. All right, excellent. Let's go ahead and send another division in. Let's try and push forward here. A lot of problems, I'm trying to do so. Um, trying to get this done. 
are all along that front there, all in the front. We did get decryption, that's fantastic. Uh, we are still only in 1947, so we did not unlock the, you know, the 1948 industrial text yet. We could start working on some stuff over here because we haven't haven't even done any of those yet. Uh, way behind on, on that regard. Um, and the Navy is 1948. I think all this is 1948. So yeah, let's work on something here. Um, let's do these. We always said we're going to do it, and then we never did. <laughs> never did it. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and push forward there. So that's one victory. It's, it's so slow now because we have a lot of troops up here, and they're probably going to start having supply issues and whatnot. Um, let's go ahead and send these guys over this way. We're going to have to manually force these fuckers to fight. Just fight. Attack, man. Uh, stop attacking the uh, provinces you can't win. Instead, attack where you can win. Um, and we are entering into July. Awesome. So there are 15 divisions there. I'd prefer to just get those guys cut off if possible. Try and get around here and get to uh, Glasgow and try and take that. Um, and then we'll have these guys attack up this way as soon as they get there. Maybe we'll be able to get these tanks here first because, yeah, we just took Edinburgh, which means I think we'll be one province away from cutting them off. Uh, looks like several of them are retreating, though. I don't even want them attacking there, so it's kind of frustrating. Got the uh, factory camo. Got that really, really quick. Uh, let's go ahead and get the next one because these are so quick. They're four days. Uh, to get some really good bonuses. Excellent. Um, anything else we can do over here? Uh, we can defend. <laughs> That's what we can do. Uh, taking that did give us... There we go. Um, we got the Atomic Energy Institute as well, so let's go ahead and... Uh, United Kingdom has capitulated. Uh, let's go ahead and get the Missoula Extraction. Why not? We'll grab it up. All right, so we're going to trade for the tungsten that we need here, uh, and then we're going to uh, set up invasions. Oh, hold up. Seems that we're looking pretty good on tungsten now. All right, let's pull that back. Come here. Pull back, and now it's steel that we're short. All right, just problems. Problems, guys. I don't know why it's not upgrading the uh, tungsten. All right, well, that should fix things. Um, all right, so what we're gonna wanna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and get these naval invasions planned um, because <laughs> I just wanna get this done. Um, we're gonna send, oh, that's a nice size naval base. We'll send these guys on over here. Uh, we're just gonna launch them. I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna launch one right there. And then with the Orange Army, they're gonna launch too because I just I just wanna get it done. Uh, we're gonna launch from here, I suppose. Let me just see, let's do this one. And we'll launch from right here. All right, excellent. So they're gonna get over there. We're gonna speed this up to speed five um, so we can finish it up. And I believe these guys, no, they're not done training just yet. We'll have to wait. What about the Blue Army? What did you guys do? Um, they finished over here, so let's go ahead and assign them down here to finish up in India. And give them an order to take this territory. All right, um, so they're going to get their asses down there. Uh, West Germany has capitulated. Excellent news. Got some convoys. That's all they had. Finished the research of that because it was like four days. Um, and that's all we can get for that. I think this is the one that we want to get. 85 days here. We could also work on trying to get ourselves... Well, we don't need rubber anymore. Never mind. All right, let's just go and get this. I know that doesn't look like much, but it does help uh, because... The next techs are pretty damn good. Um, what else is over here? I'm not seeing any other naval battles. Uh, we got more uh, factories. Good grief. A lot of factories, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and put these into that, because I don't care. All right. Uh, and we're once again short on resources. So let's go ahead and trade with the Soviets for a bit of oil. Actually, I'm surprised we need oil. You know what? Let's not trade for oil. We don't need oil. We're about to get something for the oil. Uh, not gonna trade for rubber either. Uh, we can trade for the tungsten though. And we'll trade for the steel too, I suppose. And what happened here? United States announces the comet turn. All right, so maybe the United States might declare war. Well, they would probably declare war on the Soviet Union. They're already at war with the Soviet Union. Uh, when are these gonna be done? A long, long time. <laughs> okay, um, so this one's 42 days. We're gonna launch them as soon as we can. We, I, I probably don't even need to have that many troops going, um, but I'm gonna anyways, because it's on, it should go pretty fast. Uh, we got our military police. Um, Federal Republic of Venezuela has capitulated. They're part of the allies, so that's good. Um, let's go and get another thing of MPs, I suppose, because uh, we're gonna need to increase have our MPs occupy all this area here. Um, they're gonna have to occupy here, and they have to occupy all this territory. Come on, this is gonna take a little minute. And I guess we, we can play it while we do it, it's fine. And it seems that, yeah, they they might have enough numbers. Yeah, they have enough numbers, that's fine. Excellent, 
All right, so uh, they're going to occupy all that for us. Um, and we have sunk a ton of convoys over here. They don't have anybody uh, anywhere to land, the British. Yeah, this is really, really good. Um, of course, the Irish uh, need to be conquered as well. Um, I, I'll just let the Soviets do that. It'll, it'll probably go in our hands because they're conquering from our territory. Um, so I'm not going to not gonna mess with it. Are these guys done? Yes, they are. Let's go and throw them into that army. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this army here and we're going to put them into, oh, somewhere, a port over here somewhere. Right there. Can we go in this land? No, we can't. All right, instead, let's come over to, oh, where the fuck? Where the fuck can we land these guys? They'll go right there. And why are you guys not coming down here? Come on over here. They said, no, the supply is too terrible there, Praetorian. Don't make us do it. All right, let's attack over that way. Just to get our percentages up, that's the only reason why we're, we're participating in Asia. Uh, we don't really need to participate there, but keep the percentages nice and high. It's always helpful. Um, looks like we didn't succeed in, in winning here, unfortunately. Let's attack this way and attack this way here. See if we can get a win somewhere. Was that the sea? Looks like we might win there. And we're going to see how our armies here are doing. Uh, 20 of 77 days and 20 of 42. All right. Um, so we are also continuing to sink British cowboys throughout this area here. Uh, this is an extremely long episode, guys, but it's the finale. That's uh, the finale. And we're going to be finishing this up. It just sucks that, uh, yeah, it's going to take me fucking forever to edit this tomorrow. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a bitch. Um, but whatever it is what it is. Um, I really wanted to finish this. We could have made it too. Uh, damn it. We lost here. Oh, motherfucker. Motherfucker. <laughs> Let's go ahead and have these guys attack over this way again. Try and lock them down while these units get over here so we can hopefully win there. Um, and then we're going to, I guess, continue to defend here. We need to get this finished up though. Um, looks like they left. Uh, Iran just declared war on the Iranian Communist Authority. What's going on over here? Oh, tell me they're not going to join the fucking allies or some dumb shit like that. So, the Iranians are having a civil war. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, it looks like there's a little war here. I don't know how that happened. I'm guessing... Yeah, they're not even like... Uh... Yeah, they're just neutral. And Iran joined the allies. And Free France called them into the war. That's awesome. <laughs> That's great, guys. That's really good. I'm so happy that that happened. I don't know if you can tell my excitement. We'll go over there and help them, guys, after we finish up this this here. As soon as we finish up conquering this, which should be momentarily, though. Man, you got it on speed 5. You can't even tell. It's going so fucking slow. All right, let's go ahead and come over here and get into our border, uh, and we'll, we'll help out here. Like so. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Nope, don't like that. Don't like it at all. Instead, go this way. And then we'll have them attack across. Yeah. All right, so just get over there, guys. It's going to take a long time. The war with Iran probably be done before we even get over there. But we still have troops over here to help uh, in the war against the Allies, so, um, in Asia. Uh, while we wait for our guys here to be ready, uh, we currently are 34 or 42 days, and the Soviets are advancing our front in Ireland, so that's good. We're getting that territory for ourselves. It's very nice. Um, just looking at the situation and resources. We're short again, so we'll go ahead and trade for these. And yeah, looking great, guys. Um, are these guys done yet? No, they're not. They've been taking forever to train up. Let's see what happened over here. Uh, let's go ahead and throw these guys on over to this province. And we'll just uh, defend across this nice little river place. This is a good location to defend. We got six divisions down there to, uh, you know, take care of that. Um, got three still here. They've held that very well. And I remember the allies. You guys, didn't, I don't think you guys saw this. We didn't point it out on the video, but I saw that the allies did try and attack here briefly, and they held out pretty well. Uh, and they were able to defend it. So good job, guys. Um, let's go ahead and get ah whatever. Get that one. All right, looking good. Could have got something for manpower since we are short on manpower. Um, what the fuck? Why is this not disappearing? All right, it's just taking a while. Everything's taking a while. Everything's really, really slow here. Um, and what happened here? Just think it's more convoys, more British convoys. Uh, we're gonna have to change our fleet up, by the way. Um, we're gonna have to make them cover. Uh, let me just see here. I suppose we'll send them over to this base of operations here. Um, they're gonna be based out of there. And then we're gonna reduce 
Uh, maybe can't reduce them because they're in battle. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's probably because they're in battle. It's not gonna let me uh, make any adjustments yet. We'll have to wait until we finish this battle up uh, over here. We're just thinking some convoys. Excellent, it's done. All right, so let's go ahead and fix this. Um, pull them out of here. I suppose they can, let me see here. Nah, no, they're gonna have to cover this. Yeah, they gotta cover all this. All right, so we'll bring them over there now. Uh, probably not gonna be much to, to sink here, but I just want them here for the invasions. Let's go and send the orange army. Maybe they'll be able to do it themselves, I don't know. Um, we'll see. Uh, and they won't have a port though, but I don't think there's gonna be anybody there. That's why I didn't really care. Uh, Red army still got, you know what? We just take some of these out. I don't feel like fucking waiting. Uh, so let's give these guys, um, let's pull these out here. And how many are we gonna have to pull out? I don't even know. Let's just pull out a bunch of them. I could do the math, but who the fuck wants to do math? <laughs> so they should be able to go here. There we go. Let's go and send these guys. And yeah, gonna have the Red Army go too. Although accordingly, they're saying they can't go. Why? Why are they saying they can't go? The Denmark straight. They don't have, oh, I see. Damn, that sucks. Yeah, this is too many, too many sea regions that they have to go through. Yeah, this is a terrible place to launch the invasion from. All right, that sucks. Yeah, it essentially is impossible to launch this invasion. Damn it, I didn't realize that. All right, let's just take 10 of them, 10 of these guys, and launch an invasion from another location. We can attack from Liverpool, I mean, it's all the same. Uh, and then we're gonna attack. Oh, damn it, I fucked it up. I fucked it up, guys. All right, then we're gonna attack over here. Get over there. Get it going. And this will be 35 days, probably not gonna be needed, but I figured we might as well do it, just in case it is needed. Um, yeah, because I, I don't actually know. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and take the, uh, where's the fleet at? Where the fuck is the fleet? Huh, oh, they're in a battle. Uh, we sunk some uh, Irish submarines there. And we are auto-saving. Let's go ahead and take this fleet. They don't need to cover over here anymore. Uh, so we'll reduce them there so that I can cover the channel because I really want to cover that. Because uh, there's, oh wait, no, never mind. We can't do that either. We have to cover here. Although it's not like they're even ready to do the invasion. There are some troops there defending. Interesting. All right, well, we should be able to win. I don't know if we'll be able to go all the way across. Maybe we'll lose the orange army. They'll get completely destroyed, but I don't care. I just want it finished. Just want this battle finished over here. Um, sinking some more stuff over here. Iran has capitulated. Fantastic news. Uh, we didn't even have to help with that. Uh, I got 10 uh, Irish submarines. Seems the Irish are really focusing on building submarines up. Um, still attacking there. Uh, I don't think we can get any air support there, but it's fine. I don't, I don't care enough to mess with it. Um, we got agile craft over here. Um, let's go ahead and get the, oh, wait a minute, huh? Oh, we don't have specialized engineering here. Okay, we can go ahead and do this. Why not? It's really quick. Uh, we have a nice bonus for it. We'll do it. Might as we we went and researched it, so might as well go ahead and do that. Uh, we could um, bring these guys somewhere, but let's just leave them there for right now because I don't I don't care about them. Uh, instead, let's uh, create a front over here, and we're gonna have them attack across this territory here and just advance the front. And we're just gonna tell them to go too, cause I don't care. Um, so yeah, advance the front there. Sunk some more uh, Irish submarines. It looks like the, oh wow, the orange army lost. Holy shit, Batman. Okay, whatever. I'm like shocked that they fucking lost. Well, whatever, nothing to be done about it. Um, let's go and drill this too, get more oil. Yeah, I'm really surprised that we lost there. Damn, man. It just sucks. I This is what I, I realize why some people have such frustration. I mean, we're an hour and 20 minutes in this fucking episode almost. Um, and this is why people don't want to finish Hearts of Iron series. Uh, you know, YouTubers, I mean. Uh, because it's fucking frustrating, guys. Send this guy in. Maybe he'll be able to help it. <laughs> well, I didn't want to send the whole... Uh, whatever, he can go. He can go all by himself. I don't care. I don't care. We'll send some more. We're going to send these guys in too. Come here. Um, for whatever reason, it's not letting me assign them. Probably because it's already launched. Yeah, I bet that's why. All right, whatever. So yeah, that one tank unit's gonna go off. <laughs> Do isn't naval invasion. It's fine. Um, I don't care enough to mess with it. Looks like we lost a division over here. He got cut off or something. Oh, that sucks. 
All right, let's let's fix this. I'm just gambling here, doing a lot of stupid shit. Apparently. All right, let's uh, let's just delete that and give them a different order. Come take this, Terry. Something easy, something that they can handle. Take that territory, please. Or hopefully they can handle it. We'll have to see. Uh, and then the blue army, they're not doing anything either. Um, I suppose we can advance the front here. Might as well, right? I wasn't going to attack this way. Uh, but yeah, let's just go ahead and get it done. I don't really like losing the manpower, but we're like not doing anything. Like, So might as well play a role and we'll get them over there. And they're pretty close to that area as well. Uh, just to get our percentages up uh, for the war participation, you see it's dropped again. We were at almost 40%. Yeah, I guess... God damn, what happened to the Soviets here? The Irish beat back the Soviets. Good God, men. <laughs> How did you lose there? All right, what we'll do. We're going to create a new army here. Um, I don't even think I have a general. Yeah, we got a general. And you know what? It doesn't matter the color he is. Uh, and then just assign them over here. And come over this way. Conquer this territory, please. All right, so we're going to assign those guys over there and see if they can get it done. Uh, we got centralized fire control. Um, and we got that solid, solid color over here. Let's go ahead and get this. And go with this one as well. Uh, and we will get that one. Sure. Yeah, I'm just shocked at how long this is fucking taking me to get this finished up because of the fucking Norwegians, man. I didn't plan on this to have to attack Iceland because Norway is fucking done, man. Just incredibly frustrating. Um, but whatever. There's nothing to be done about it. Man, how are these guys looking? Uh, looks like the Red Army is set to go. Let's go ahead and send them. About fucking time. All right, and then the Orange Army could send them now as well. I suppose we will. Let's go ahead and send all these guys. Get them going. Um, and yeah, and then we'll get this army over here and they'll continue to advance that front into Ireland, hopefully, or at least defend this territory for us because it looks like we're about to lose it all. Um, you guys come on over here. I know that you're saying supply can't handle it, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Being bombed all the way across here. I'm guessing they're bombing from right there. The British, perhaps. Nope, those are actually Irish planes. Huh, who would have thought the Irish would be causing such trouble? <laughs> uh, looks like... Um, Sunk some, some convoys there. Uh, hopefully we'll get this this finished. Um, we'll attack from two different directions, and I don't know if the Norwegians will be able to handle it. We'll just have to see here. Looks like these guys are fairly weak. Uh, but yeah, if we can get that Red Army to take the capital there, um, then yeah, maybe we can get this finished up here. All right, so it looks like, and yeah, my allergies are still bugging the fuck out of me. It looks like they should win there this time. And we are done repairing everything. Awesome, took them long enough. Uh, let's go ahead and build up our locations here. Build it up, build it up, and we'll just take these down to the bottom. We have a lot of factories. Look at all them goddamn civilian factories, man. It's awesome. Uh, let's just put these into here, and good God, this is taking fucking forever, man. I did not expect this to take this long. Um, it's taking forever to upgrade, or to uh, update as well whenever I do anything. So we did win here. Excellent. Finally. Come on, just conquer. Attack. <laughs> let's get this finished, guys. All right, we're going to send a bunch of these guys over this way, and the rest of you guys come over here. All right, so should be able to have this wrapped up soon. Norway should capitulate any moment, uh, and then we'll be done with the war, guys. Um, excellent news. About fucking time. Uh, we didn't have to launch them, but we'll launch them anyway. Launch those guys down. Uh, finish up taking up this territory here. Shouldn't have any problems advancing it. Uh, the purple army over here, uh, not really doing anything. Why have we not won yet? Why is the war not over? Decline. Um, let's go ahead and get, uh, next, no, no, not 1948. Well, we'll get it. Hmm. We'll just get it anyway. It's fine. Uh, and then what else do we, oh, it's just not taking a while to upgrade. Why have we not won? What's going on here? Let me just see here. Don't tell me there's another fucking country. What's going on? Do we have to take, <sighs> you're fucking kidding me? How, how long? Let me just see. Did they capitulate yet? I'm about to just fucking say the campaign's over, man. 90%. Are you fucking serious, guys? Oh, my lord. <laughs> uh, it's, it's beyond fucking frustrating, man. I don't want to I don't want to fucking invade Greenland. <sighs> Whatever. What you gonna do, right? There's not anything you can do about it. And we can only do... We only want to launch, launch one invasion, so that Red Army has to do it on their own. 
just incredibly fucking frustrating. Like this is nobody wants to do this. Like nobody wants to, and we'll just bring we'll bring less troops um, to try and make it a little bit quicker. I'm just I thought this would be over, and yeah, I'm having to fuck with this man. <laughs> Twenty eight days. Good God, and the fucking episode is so long. <laughs> I just want to end it. Um, but I, I don't want to. I, it's just we we took all this time to conquer them. I'd like to have the peace treaty. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be an ungodly long episode um, here. I mean, just it's incredibly frustrating the way the game works. Like, why do I have to? Why do I have to go conquer Greenland to finish up the war? Like, what reason is that? Why? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Norway is conquered. Um, yeah, I just I don't understand what happened here. Um, oh, I guess. I guess what happened? Yeah, this is no longer Norwegian territory, I believe. They own this now. Yeah, they're the owners of all all of Norway. Uh, so, but why are they considered a major power? Like, they don't have enough factories to be considered a major power, do they? Yeah, there's no fucking way. Yeah, they do not have enough factories to be considered a major power. Yeah, I just, I don't know why. Um, yeah, it just doesn't make any fucking sense. Uh, we got ground support integration. Let's go ahead and get the next thing here. Air superiority, I guess. Yeah, it's just incredibly frustrating. Um, let's cover this area here. And then uh, hopefully we'll be able to get this done soon. Literally 12 of 20, 28 days. We're advancing all along here as well. Purple Army's probably doing nothing. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll attack. Oh, we'll attack across a river, right? That sounds stupid. Let's attack this guy this way instead. And... Can we, like, re maybe reduce the purple army a little bit? Uh, their front? I don't know. They're having supply issues. Probably wouldn't be wise. All right. It looks like they're having some serious problems because of the supply here. The supply is garbage in this area. Um, what we need to do is we're going to bring these guys over here because I prefer that we cover this front. Although, yeah, they probably end up having some issues here um, because of supply. Attack this way. And we're going to have you guys attack over this way. And you'll attack there. <laughs> Should be able to get Rangoon soon. These divisions, and then we'll be cut off uh, from supply. Excellent. Let's go and attack this way. Attack up over here. You guys come on over here and attack that way. And just get this fucking done. Just attack all the way across here. All you guys. Just attack. Just get it done. Finish it. Alright, and then, uh... I think we can attack there. Doesn't look like there's anybody there occupying that. Uh, well, there's somebody there, though. All right. Um, so, should have this wrapped up over here soon. Uh, we got the drilling done. Um, is there anything else that we even need here? I guess we can get the submarine technology. I don't know if we're ever going to research those. Um, not that it matters. And then we can go ahead and build. Oh, build some, some stuff here. Let's build. We never did uh, upgrade these, by the way. <laughs> I never did it. All right, um, let's get more military factories, I suppose. Yeah, all throughout here, just give me military factories. All right, excellent. Yeah, because that is all of our territory there, so might as well get them. Um, and then we have military factories to assign as well. Let's just put these into, like so. All right, excellent. Um, and then let me take a look at if we're ready or not. We are ready. All right, thank God. <laughs> so, and we got atomic research, but let's send these guys first. All right, let's go ahead and see uh, what we want to get next over here. We got Ace Pilot promoted. Let's go ahead and get the uh, radar stations. And we'll, uh, we'll build those. That'll give us something to build as well. All right, and then the Blue Army, they're advancing all along here, taking territory. Excellent. Um, doing a good job taking a bit more and getting our war participation up. Uh, we're still l losing war participation, though, which sucks. I don't even know how. Like, how are we losing war participation? Probably just casualties. Uh, because the AI loves to take casualties, so... Yeah, it's probably what's going on. Uh, we can also increase this front over here because we took over that one area. Uh, just widen it a little bit. Maybe uh, increase the issues that we're clearly having here. I'm just going to let the AI control that. I'm not too concerned about it. Um, see what's going on over here. Sinking, sinking a lot of convoys over here. Did we not finish this? Oh, we never even sent them. All right, let's go ahead and get that done then. Uh, go ahead and go. See if we get a win there. Um, we could also send our... I don't even, I haven't even given air support at all uh, to any of our guys. Uh, so let's let's do that. Let's send them over here. Have them uh, working. Actually doing something. And come on over here. 
All right, so that should help us out a lot, getting that air support. We should be able to advance that front relatively quickly. Uh, and then once we take oh, this Norway, come on, guys, get over there. Man, it's such a long trip, too. They're losing organization all the way across, so that's unfortunate. Hopefully a little bit of wind, though. Um, doesn't look like there's anybody there to stop us. Hopefully there's a port here. I can't even tell. And Ireland has capitulated. Great news. All right. Um, let's go ahead and get the dockyards and stuff assigned from that. Uh, just build out like so. And then we have military factories as well. So let's go ahead and get these assigned. We're going to do... Oh, let's just do... Doesn't really matter, guys. Just going to get them assigned because I can't have them sitting there not doing anything, right? Oh, we got a ton of factories. All right. Did we win here yet? Oh, it's almost there. Almost there, guys. Um, looks like we are sinking a ton of fucking convoys. Still got uh, Irish submarines over here as well, interestingly enough. All right, attack, guys. Get it done. Oh, my God, just get it done. <laughs> just finish this fucking thing. Uh, very, I'm so, so frustrated with it, guys. Um, they're 100% now, so it's going to be done. Yeah, I'm really, really irritated about that, um, that we had to go do do these attacks. This It completely lost the momentum of the campaign, in my fucking opinion. I did not like the way that happened. Uh, so we want to go ahead and grab up. The territories are important to us. Uh, Syria is one of those areas. Uh, and then, obviously, Egypt, too. We really want to get Egypt in our hands. Um wanted that bad uh, that's one of the key places we want to fight we want to get all this as well uh we want to get albania too uh, since that is connected it's a bummer we can't get yugoslavia it looks like that was one of the first things that they decided to do here yeah not gonna be able to get yugoslavia in our hands that sucks yeah that really sucks why is austria back opened up huh it's weird okay huh isn't this all in our hands already yeah, I don't know why, what happened there. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, let's see if we can get some territory over here. Um, do we want to continue advancing down this way? I mean, there's rubber and stuff we're going to want to get eventually. Um, so, yeah, we're going to want to go that way. But let's let's first get get uh, the rest of North Africa in our hands. Let's get all this. I want it. All right. Get control of that, too. Should we take Spain? Let's take Gibraltar. So we control, completely control access to the Mediterranean. That's awesome. Uh, I would love to puppet Spain if possible. Yeah, we can puppet Spain. We'll make, we'll make them our puppet, and we'll take some stuff for them eventually. Uh, we could also puppet France. We could have done that, but I think I'll let, I'll probably let the uh, uh, Soviets puppet France if they want it. They can have it. Um, and let's, let's take territory. Well, we won't be able to do that just yet. Let me see. What else can we do here? Um, there's all this territory over here, which I don't really care about Asia. I could give it to Japan, um, which maybe I will. Yeah, maybe we'll give that to Japan. Um, yeah, we can take that because it's free. So we'll grab those up just to make our borders look nice. So we'll take all that. We have nice some nice borders over here. Take all this territory as well. It's just it all looks nice. And it's all cheap. And yeah, I might as well take all Africa. All Africa will be in uh, Turkish hands. Yeah, look at this, guys. <laughs> yeah, nice. Oh, we never took all this yet. Damn it, we need to get that. All right, so that looks good. Uh, anything else that we need to take in the Middle East? Ah, oh, that's just one too many. All right, so we're going to have to... Oh, and we got to get this one, too. Damn, I'm, I'm, I know I'm greedy, guys. Greedy. Um, we'll reduce the lands in Africa that we're taking. But I want to get all these islands here, so it's fine. Um, so we're going to take all that, and we'll just reduce some of the lands in Africa that we have. All right, there we go. Um, that looks good. We're going to end our turn here. End it. All right, so a lot of big changes here in the world, guys. Um, of course, the United Kingdom, we'll probably want to get them uh, puppeted as well. So I'll probably go ahead and do that now, actually. Let's puppet the United Kingdom. And then we can give some territory to Spain. Uh, I suppose we can do that, but I also want to get... I guess the Soviets aren't going to be interested in, in that territory over there. We'll go ahead and take this territory uh, for Spain over here. This is all theirs, so it should be pretty cheap to get. Uh, so yeah, we'll get all that territory for Spain, um, our little puppet. And then let's get some more territory for us in Africa, I suppose. Yes, give me Africa. All right, so we're going to take all this. Whatever we can take in Africa, we're going to take it. Uh, we'll take these lands here. Oh, that was one too many. All right, um, is there anything cheap we can get? We can get that one. How about this one? Oh, we can get that one. All right, let's go ahead and end our turn. And then I suppose we'll go ahead and puppet all the lands for Britain. I thought we... Huh. Yeah, I thought we puppeted Britain. Spain, United Kingdom. Okay. Um, let's just take some, some lands for Britain. Get them uh, all their territory back. 
And yeah, we're gonna have some strong ass puppets. Can you imagine if we fought the, the Soviets? This would be a huge, massive war against the Soviets. Damn, I took too much. All right. Oh wow, we can't take shit. Oh man, I was not paying attention. <laughs> I thought we could get a lot more in this. Apparently not. All right, whatever. Give me that one back then. Nope. Huh. All right, nope, we can't do that one either. Well, doesn't that just suck balls? <laughs> okay, let's go like that. Um, and that'll work in turn. And let's go ahead and give them some more lands. Take all this for us. We're probably gonna give them control. No, I gotta have a free Ireland. <sighs> yeah, I can't do that, guys. My Irish blood would not allow it for me to give it into British hands. And her turn here. Oh, we never did take this stuff for us. Let's go and get all this uh, lands here. Uh, Cause yeah, I wanna take these. I wanna get them all into our hands. And seems, okay, that's, can't take that now. All right, can we get any more lands over here? Give me that one too. And any of these islands, we'll take these as well. There's some uh, resources in here and shit. And I'll just take all this. Can you believe how much land Turkey has? Turkey is glorious, guys. All right, so we can go ahead and give some more land to the Brits, I suppose. Uh, or maybe not. Yeah, I can't give shit to them. Can we get like a cheap one? Yeah, we got some cheap ones we can get. Cheapies here. All right, let's go ahead and end our turn. And then we'll give them the rest of their territory. Hopefully, we can get all this to them. Nope. How about this one? Mm hmm. All right. Uh, continue on. Damn, man, we're gonna have to, like we're gonna have to do a wait here, guys. And then we're just gonna pass one turn so that we get have enough to puppet Ireland. I think. Let me just see. Make sure that all of Africa is done. Looks like it is. Excellent. There is also all of the lands here, but we're gonna continue. I suppose having India as a puppet would be awesome. Let's do that instead of going after. Um, where are they at? Uh, British Raj. Uh, instead of going after Ireland, let's puppet India. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna puppet India. Um, and we could probably do Ireland as well. Let me just take a look here. Yeah, let's puppet Ireland as well. Can we puppet anybody else that we might want to uh, puppet? We could do France, because it seems like, whatever reason, um, Soviet Union's not interested in doing it. All right, um, sure. Nope, Never mind. It's in the, no, France has already been been done, I guess. All right, let's just end our turn, and then let's give uh, territory to these these countries here. Uh, so we're gonna do India first. All right, so we got India here. Let's go ahead and give them their territory. Oh man, we don't have any points. Let's just pass, and then let's see if we can get them get them this territory now. All right, so we'll get them that. We're gonna give them that as well. They're they're gonna get take this, uh, and they can start having the land over here too. Uh, too much. All right, that works. And their turn here, and I hate when they, they move it. Go back up here. All right, British Raj. Take territory. All right, is there anything else for us to take over here? No. No, um, they can have that. Sure, why not? So we'll give that to India. Um, looking good. All right, let's go end our turn. And uh, I don't really care about efficiency on the points right now, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and give this to Ireland. And what else do we want to do here? Suppose we can give Japan some more territory, maybe. Uh, the British have anything here? We can give. Um, we could also puppet India, uh, Australia. I mean. Okay. Um, what's going on with France? Why is uh okay? France is here, and it looks like it's just taking forever for the Soviets to take territory for them. Because uh, remember, the Soviets don't have a lot of points this time, or whoever it is that's doing that. It could be Italy as well. I don't I don't know who it is. Um, I guess what we'll do is we'll puppet... Nope, can't puppet Netherlands. They've already been... Somebody's already been messing with them as well. Um, we can't do anything with Australia either. How about Canada? No. Oh, okay, that's my bad. I'm trying to give it to Ireland. Let's take a look here. Maybe we can do it now. Oops. Don't want to satellite those. Um, let's take a look at the Netherlands. Okay, we can't puppet Netherlands. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll puppet them. Well, that's too many points. All right, we're just going to end our, point, or end our turn then. Let's go ahead and puppet um, the Netherlands, and let's give them their territory, or at least a little bit of it. Let's give the Netherlands this territory here now. Let's see if we can give them, nope, 
Can Australia be puppeted yet? No, somebody already did that. Or, uh, or I'm not clicked on me. No, I am clicked on me. Okay. Um, looks like somebody's already puppeted Australia. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna give some land to Japan then. Okay, Japanese People's Republic here. Got them. Uh, we're gonna give them any, like, British lands that are available here. If we see any. Um, I know there are some. There's one there. Uh, we'll give them any Australian lands too, since this is our puppet. And anything else to give them. I know there's got to be something else. Uh, looks like that's already been taken by the Soviets. Okay, I think that's it in Asia. That's what it looks like. Yeah, there's no other lands in Asia to give them. All right, let's go end their turn because I don't feel like messing with it. Uh, and then, God, I guess we're going to have to take this for France because nobody else is going to fucking do it. Uh, so actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and pass my turn a couple times. Okay, Soviets decided to take that. And what we'll do is we'll just give this to France because clearly they're not going to fucking do it. Although I don't know who's getting France. I'm sure, I mean, they're on our side, so it doesn't matter. Free France. I think it is. I think the United States might be involved in this conflict, you know, because they were, they were at war with the Allies. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Just give this to the French here. Get their lands increased so we can finish up this fucking peace treaty. Oh, it's been a disaster. All right, so that's good, um, and we're done. Let's go ahead and end our turn there. And it looks like Australia is the only place that hasn't been dealt with yet. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to deal with it for the Soviets because they're not fucking doing it. <sighs> or, or we could just pass here and see if they deal with it. There we go. All right, done. All right, so the peace treaty is finished up. This is probably gonna take a long time to load up here. Man, this is a very, very long episode. This is gonna take me forever to get uploaded and all that good shit. Um, but I really wanted to get this done. I should have made it into two videos, but I had no idea it was gonna take this long. It shouldn't have taken this long, guys. The reason why it did take this long was because of this whole situation up here in Norway, man. Ugh, that was disastrous. I uh, was not pleased with it overall, but we finished up our war here. We're pretty powerful. Uh, just taking a look at our faction. This is the common turn faction. Wow. And even all these guys are all common turn as well. We could finish the war with the United States, but I am I'm done with this campaign, guys. Um, our main power is all reduced, anyways. And yeah, I just don't I don't want to play it no more. The, and clearly, people have stopped watching. The views are you know pretty low overall for the series. So I don't really see any reason to continue playing it. Uh, and I am ready to move along. It was a fun campaign. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing this turkey. Um, yeah, God, we had a lot of issues with this campaign. Uh, with the peace treaties and stuff, it's been incredibly frustrating as well as, you know, it's been enjoyable, but, you know, in, in, in addition to that, it has been very frustrating overall just dealing with Hearts of Iron and, and the way peace treaties are done. I really hope that Paradox fixes this soon and makes it a priority because it's, oh, God, it's, it's fucking frustrating. It's so difficult to deal with. Uh, it looks like we're, all of our convoys got bombed all throughout here as they're traveling. Uh, well, whatever. Um, but yeah, it was it was a nice campaign. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But yeah, what we're going to be doing after this, guys, is I am not going to be doing another Hearts of Iron series just yet. I don't even know if I'll do another one before the DLC comes out. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. The DLC comes out March 8th, so it is a while away. I mean, that's like a whole month away. It's over a month away. Is that I have got to get that alternate history video done, guys. Um, so I had almost had it finished, and then I decided to start a series. I don't remember which one it was. It wasn't this one. It was the one before this one, I think. Um, the Kaiser Reich campaign, I believe, is what we started. Um, I believe that was it. And so I decided to start a series because I figured, oh, I'm almost done with the alternate history, so you know, we'll go ahead and start a Let's Play, and then I'll finish it. Well, yeah, then a bunch of shit happened with the car and just a bunch of other stuff, and then I just didn't have the time to do the alternate history and a Let's Play. Uh, and I, I should have, when I finished the Kaiser Wright campaign, I should have taken the time off and uh, finished that that that, uh, that video because it was almost done. I did have to transfer it all over to the new video producer. I have done most of that though. Um, that was a fucking massive hassle because I had originally been working in it in my old video editor. Uh, and then I had to put it into the new video editor and yeah, that was a big fucking asshole. That was a pain in the ass, but I did most of that. Um, so I was able to get that done. Um, but that was pretty much all I did on trying to finish it. And so I still got to get the, the last things that, that need being done for we can finally get that, uh, up on the channel. Uh, I've been working really hard on it and I, I want to get it up. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be focusing on that. 
And then when that's done, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Like I said, it's probably not gonna be hard to iron. Um, I'm kind of really, I'm really, really excited for that DLC and patch. And that's what I want to play. So I don't really want to play Hearts of Iron without it anymore because it looks so good. So now it's probably not going to be till March 8th uh, because I'll probably get the DLC early. All right. I'm assuming that I'll get the DLC early. Uh, and if I do get it early, uh, then yeah, we'll be playing it. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know how much earlier they'll give it to me. We'll just have to see maybe a week earlier or something like that. So it'll be early March is when we'll be starting Hearts of Iron back up. Uh, we'll be starting a campaign with the new DLC and uh, the new patch. So that's gonna be exciting. Um, but yeah, until then, uh, I think I'm gonna work on other stuff. Um, Stellaris is coming out. I have some ideals for what I wanna do at Stellaris, so we might do something with that. Could do something with uh, another game, EU4 or something like that. I don't know, we'll see you guys. Uh, let's see how long it takes for me to finish up this uh, alternate history video, and then from there we'll just kind of we'll figure out what we're, what we're gonna, what's going to happen after that. I just can't work on the the edited videos and a, a let's play at the same time. The let's plays are, are pretty time consuming, guys. Uh, overall, you know, I record seven videos a week, and you know that's you know anywhere from 30 to 45 minute videos. Or fuck, lately we've been doing hour long videos. Uh, so when you add that all up, that's that's quite a bit. Plus, you know the stuff I do with my wife Jinx and then working and, and the kids and all the other kind of stuff that there is in life. Um, it's very time consuming. So it doesn't leave a lot of time for doing those really highly edited videos like the alternate history ones because those things are incredibly time consuming. Those take a lot of time to do guys. Those take like weeks of like, uh, wow, look at this big ass name we got built over here. Just weeks of work um, and they're very, very time consuming. So um, yeah, I think we're gonna start working on some stuff like that and we'll just let's see you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this campaign. I found it very, uh, very fun. Um, I like the Road to 56 mod. It, really leads to some weird shit, um, which can be enjoyable when you're used to vanilla uh, or some of the other mods that don't do not do that. It's If you want a, a historical mod, this is not the mod to play, <laughs> but uh, if you want a fun, surprising time, then yeah, very much you should check this mod out. Road to 56, guys. Uh, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this series, make sure you leave a like on the video, uh, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the future content we'll be coming out with. Uh, if you need something to watch while we don't have any uh, Hearts of Iron series going, I've got lots of uh, former Let's Plays that I've done. I've done, I don't know, nine or something like that, eight or nine. There's been a lot of them, guys. We've done a lot of series on the channel. Uh, go check out one of those. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up, guys. I uh, really enjoyed playing this with you guys. Um, and yeah, make sure you leave a comment as well as tell me what you thought of the series. Tell me about what you wanna see in the future because I love talking to you guys. And thanks for watching.